Hello and welcome to Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. My dear educators, as we have been discussing the assessment and evaluation pattern, we were talking about the curriculum shared by CBSE for secondary and the senior classes uh, recently for 23-24. So my dear educators, in continuation with that, as we have received a circular on 6th of April by CBSE related to assessment and evaluation practices of the board for session 23-24. So here, I just want to share with you, as it is clearly mentioned, we want our children to move away from the rote learning that I've highlighted in the yellow color. And there are three main points that we need to look into it. Like we have to focus on creative and critical thinking capacities of our students. So it is very clear, like more of the questions will be based on their creativity, their critical thinking, I mean, all higher order thinking skills. So I have already shared with you in my previous discussions also where we have already shared like they have mentioned application based analysis based evaluation and creation level based questions should be there uh, in greater number in our students assessment that is going to happen this year onwards we have to focus on the competency based education in our classes and continuous capacity building of the teachers it is required because when we will be able to develop our competencies as teachers, we will be able to teach our students, we will be able to facilitate them, we will be able to mentor them so that they will be able to design their own roadmap for success. So my dear educators, like number of circulars, guidelines and all, they have been mentioned here related to NEP and all, their references have been given. See, it is very clear like for the forthcoming session, a greater number of competency-based questions like that assess application, the concept of the real life situations will be a part of the question paper. Now see what is uh, the difference between the previous session and this session. See, if we talk about classes 9th and 10th, as you can see here on the screen, there are a few major differences. Earlier, it was competency-based questions, 40%, right? 40% uh, questions in the question paper were competency-based questions. But now with the fact from session 23-24, it is clearly mentioned like this percentage will be increased from 40% to 50%. What was there in it? It was multiple choice questions, case-based questions, source-based integrated type questions. The type will remain same, but please have a look at the title also. Earlier, it was mentioned competency-based questions, and now it is mentioned competency-focused questions. It is just not the change of the name or the term, like we are talking about competency only, just look at this word, based and focused. There is difference between competency-based questions and competency-focused questions. Now, what is the difference is when we talk about competency-based questions, they are the questions that are designed to assess a candidate's, a student's specific competences, skills, or abilities that we showed in the past. Competency-based questions. These type of questions, they usually start with the phrases like, uh, I mean, about, about our previous experience, tell me about a time or maybe describe a situation where uh, you acted a particular manner. Maybe you showed your competency, you exhibited your skill, what was your perception, our past competencies are. And the aim is to get the candidate to talk about the specific instances where they have demonstrated a particular competency in the past. And these questions, uh, they are usually, uh, you see, designed to identify a candidate's relevant experience, right? And that determines if they have the necessary skills for that role, right? We are talking about the past experiences. But if we talk about competency-based, competency-focused questions, we are focusing on that. They are more broad and are designed to identify the competences that are most important in a particular role. Like, for example, these questions, they usually start with, what do you believe? Like, what are the most important competences that will be required in that particular role? So what do we foresee? So they focus more on self-awareness. Are we aware about our competences? Like, what 
is the level of our competences and what are the competences that would be required in a particular role how would you rate your competences in terms of this on a rate of 1 to 10 in a particular capability like this aims to get the candidate uh, to discuss their understanding of the competences that are required for the role and basically i've already shared with you because we want to assess the level of their self awareness related to those competences so this is really very important we need to know about it so my dear educators if i talk about uh there are some other things as well uh just a minute like uh objective type questions they were 20 percent and now it is written select response type questions 20 percent i mean weighted is same objective questions means questions are there and the objective type answers are there when you are selecting something and now it is written select response type questions because every child is having his or her own learning style as per your learning styles as per your perspective you will be selecting some response so accordingly the term has been changed right so usually what happens in these kinds of questions usually in objective type questions we have only one correct answer right so we select only one and when we talk about select response type questions we are in some competitions also when there are a few questions like it depends like out of those four options if we select a particular suppose example uh, option number four and that is absolutely correct and we are being given suppose 100 percent marks for that right and i am selecting option number two so according to like my interest according to my perspective maybe my answer is correct up to a particular extent i may be given 50 percent marks i may be given 25 percent marks so that whole criteria will be shared uh, it is already mentioned in your sample papers in your marking scheme as well so it, this like select response type question the name is very very clear i hope you agree to that so my dear educators if i talk about remaining 40 percent questions short answer long answer questions so here what is mentioned is constructed response questions 30 percent first of all the weightage has been decreased for these questions and these 10 percent have been added to the competency focused questions right so these are constructed response type questions like you are constructing your own response this is not like you are remembering something you are understanding and you are regurgitating on uh, in during the paper and you are just vomiting out whatever you have learned we we'll use the term regurgitate we are not doing it like that we are constructing our responses as students, right? So constructed response questions. So this is, I guess, a beautiful pattern that is shared by CBSE. Likewise, for class 11th and 12th, if we have a just look at it, competency-based questions, which was earlier 30%, now 10% increase is there. And again, competency-focused questions are there, 40%. Objective by questions, the... Uh, percentage will remain same 20 percent but again it is select response type questions we are selecting response as per our understanding as per our own perspective and remaining 50 percent questions uh now it is constructed response questions and it is 40 percent so what is there in all competency focused questions will be there percentage will be increased by 10 percent and uh, when we talk about objective questions, now they have been changed into select response type questions and remaining 50% questions that were earlier based on our remembering or maybe understanding. Now it is written constructed response questions. You are constructing based on your experience, based on your understanding means you are applying. Just go ahead to read the previous initial pages of secondary curriculum where it is very very clearly mentioned starting from application reaching till creation level no talking about remembering and understanding so how beautifully it has been planned make sure you go through it my lovely educators and learning frameworks for various subjects for classes 9th to 12th 
they are available on cbsc website download it from the given link for your specific subject i will also keep on discussing the same on my platform too so stay stay tuned my lovely educators to mentoring the mentors have a nice day